Three Roscoes, we ready to have a good time? I said, are we ready to have a good time? Okay, we are running a little bit uh, behind, so we're just gonna call our guests out. Please welcome the very gorgeous and talented Miss Amanda Tori Meeting. Come she on, Amanda. She forgot. Hello, hello, meetings in <laughs> session. Ooh. Right I have here. to, ooh, you wanna walk? Ooh. We you better walk. <laughs> Come the on CEO down. of SEI. <laughs> Thank Welcome, you, baby. Diva. Uh, uh, unfortunately, Mirage cannot be here today. I'm kidding. She's lying. I'm kidding. <laughs> She's lying. Have a seat, gorgeous. Have a seat. <laughs> How are you, gorgeous? Honestly, sickening. <laughs> now, you've watched our viewing party before, yes? Well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you ready, right? You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, are y'all ready? Yeah. Now, a man, uh, uh, Mirage will be down in just a second. Like I said, we're running a little tardy the ubers are running a little late so no. she'll be down in just a little bit but in the meantime i want to tell youtube if you have not subscribed go ahead and subscribe and let's get started it's gonna start so we here we start. go let's get into it <laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen oh. let's give the mardita perra some noise give her a good welcome miss mirage well into the microphone <laughs> it's on there it is Hey, girl. <laughs> How are you, baby? Good. I'm sweating. You're sweating? <laughs> I thought it was going to be cold here. What the fuck? It is freezing we here, told. but we, uh, we, we keep it nice and toasty here at Roscoe's. Um, okay, are, are you guys excited to be here? I know you guys watched the show before you were on the show, right? Oh, well, oh, yes. 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 <laughs> I'm a fan. I'm just a fan who happened to make it on the show. It's crazy. <laughs> I love that. Well, there's a couple of questions that we know we have. One in particular. Is it on already? Is it back on? Oh, okay. I was like, Dang. Uh, we have one in particular for Amanda. Amanda, I need you to clear something up. There <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so silly. Uh, okay. There is a meme of this hot guy going around and they're saying that this is you. <laughs> clear up the air. Is the trade in the meme... Is it really you? It's my dead twin brother. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's a yes. Yeah, no, it's me, ah! girl. <laughs> Not Amanda being the secret trade of the season. <laughs> when was that picture? Really? When was that? It. That was from like my college, like senior showcase musical theater reel, girl. Like <laughs> last year. No, okay, <laughs> a different okay. lifetime. She went to college. That's somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Mirage, for you, I have this question. How did you come up with the talent number? Because it has taken the RuPaul Drag Race fandom by storm. Everyone is absolutely in love with it. Well, thank you. Honestly, I literally just did what I always do at work. And I said, fuck it. And you know what? And I am a bitch. So it worked out. It was... She is a bitch. I was just, oh, thank you so much. Sir? Now it's been a pleasure. Oh no um, no 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 no! Not that it's one. been a pleasure to see both of you divas um, on the episode so far. Um, did y'all enjoy that there was no eliminations? That y'all got to meet everybody. Yeah, uh, I, I love. Did you enjoy meeting everybody? No. Uh, <laughs> oh, say their name. I did. What are you talking about? <laughs> You know, it definitely we got very close the week one girls. So when we when the when the groups collided, there was some collision. Some collision, girl. I had to call uh, Allstate, <laughs> State Farm, Jake, girl. All right, so let me ask you guys about this Raider Queen. This is back in like the first time big deal. You guys are like setting this bar. How has it been so far watching? You know what? I just. Wait, what was the last one? The last one was the one where we all came together, right? Yeah, all 14. I'm going to be honest. I rated all my week one girlies the first seven. I put Nymphia eighth because she was low-key one, but she wasn't in my group, so sorry. And <laughs> I'm loyal. I'm a Capricorn. I'm very loyal to my sisters. See, I have Capricorn on my chart, but I'm, it's not, I'm not that loyal. So <laughs> Nymphia was number two for me. She would have been number one, but Q did help me finish my shit. So she was number one. <laughs> Were y'all shocked at any of the other girls' uh, rating system or how they ranked y'all? Um, you know, I think everybody is <laughs> the way they would be expected to. <laughs> <laughs> I will there... say that I do feel like my sisters um, had my back a little bit. So that was nice. I appreciated that, and that did surprise me a little bit because we didn't 
we didn't really know each other for very long, but we got close right away. Right. Trauma. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Trauma. <laughs> Would you have changed any of the ratings after watching? You're like, you know, to be honest, I probably would have put her here and her there. Yes, I honestly, I probably would have done a little bit more of what Plain Jane did and just <laughs> thought about myself and put myself first. Yes, I should have. But I was being fair and nice and congenial. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We're getting to this week's uh, Maxi Challenge, which is RDR Live. They're combining um, the classic isms of RuPaul's Drag Race with SNL. Um, now, Mirage, I know you can travel, but can you host? Well, mama. <laughs> I actually don't have a car, so I prefer to host. <laughs> yes, I live. I mean, hello, that's literally what we do every day, like, as a drag queen's job. So the reason why I wanted the role is because I know I'm not an actress, necessarily. But I thought hosting, I'm like, girl, that's like, that's our job. I got this in the bag. I was ready. When Sapphira gave it to you, though, you were not intimidated. You were like, finally, I got what I wanted. Okay, so I was a little confused because she wanted it so bad. And then when she gave it to me, I was like, it's a stunt. what's the angle? <laughs> now I'm suspicious. <laughs> now I feel like there's something going on. So I got in my head a little bit about that because I was like, what? Why, bitch? <laughs> now, Amanda, from your perspective, was it uh, tense in there with the girls choosing their roles, or did everyone pretty much get what they wanted? It was extremely tense. It was incredibly loud and extremely boots. <laughs> yes. I was kind of gagged. Like they, I feel like they kind of they kind of skipped a lot of that. The reason I, why I was being so quiet is because they were there was a lot of personalities in the room, and I'm not I'm not the bulldozer type. So I said, Do you work better in a group or by yourself? I like to think I'm a team player, but at the end of the day, if it's, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't like to work. Well, <laughs> nobody wants to fucking you know, work anymore. Amen. Well, you know, it, there's, there's a difference when you're working with a team and then with a bunch of people on a team that it's like about me, 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 right? Right. And I think it doesn't drag, feel like a team anymore, so then what's the point? I might as well be alone. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm single. Was there, <laughs> was there anyone in particular that was very me, 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 me? On there, plasma. or giving that type of energy, huh? Plasma was giving it in the in the the confessional. She just kind of was like. fighting so hard. She was like, "I do not want to do this Barbara thing." We were like, "Girl, <laughs> it has your name written all over it." It was like, "We want plasma to do." I mean, not really, but like, it was like, "Jesus, girl, they made this for you." We should have just let her be the brick and flop. Like, honestly, <laughs> like, I messed up. We messed up helping her so much, but you know what? We'll see how that goes. So we saw, um, you know, things that transpired from the last episode. Where things that happened from the last episode, have they... Trickled over? Trickled over to this time, and are we like, Plain Jane is all the way over there, and you're all the way over here, or were you guys kind of past it at that point? Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, I was... <laughs> no. Because um, I was uh, looking at the, the sketch she was looking at, and I was like, oh, two sluts. They're silly. They're funny. I was like, I could do that. And then she was like, oh, I'm doing this. I was like, okay, so I will be an anchor woman. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> amazing. I can't wait. Um, yeah. I, we, were, we were not talking to each other. <laughs> We've seen in the past when they give out roles that the girls kind of audition and stand up when you have two, you know, two girls that really want it. Did that happen at all that we didn't see? Or did everybody kind of just sit back and just like, meh? Kind of I was begging for an audition process. <laughs> and not was, for myself. I, didn't I was want to actively avoiding it at all costs. I was like, I want to sit here and watch cunts battle it yes, out right now. I, like, I would be down for that. I want your best 32 bars, bitch. <laughs> I would have been here for it if it was anybody else. Go off. Right. Audition. You should have done it. No. I got the late. part I wanted. <laughs> well, speaking of auditioning, is this your first time auditioning for the show? Yes. For yes. me, yes. Both of you? Techni well, I tried to audition a couple times, but it was a lot of work, bitch. <laughs> and I didn't finish it in time. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay, okay. So we just had our walkthrough with Rue. Yeah. And, uh... Safira kind of threw you under the bus in front of her. Yeah. Uh, I want to know what you were feeling in that moment and how you had to defend yourself in front of Rue to make her think that you were going to be the host. I was feeling very attacked! <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, honestly, that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Um, I don't know. I don't feel as though Safira is a malicious person. 
But I do think she's smart, and I do think she's playing a game, and I do think she did it on purpose. You can definitely see she's a very competitive person. Absolutely. Yeah. That's a nice way to put it. Yes. Yes, she is. <laughs> We're fine now, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Was, is there another way that you would put it, Amanda? Um... I think that Safira is incredibly honest about mm. everything. <laughs> and so when she feels or thinks something, she just says it. And sometimes it sounds a little bit like, oh, what? Abrasive. <laughs> I mean, not even abrasive. That is a lot of the cast, to be fair. Boots. <laughs> honest is a very nice way to put We're it. We're all just very honest. Yeah. She's such a bitch. Maldita <laughs> pera. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. Okay, so let's talk about, let's go back to the first episode because we did a talent show. Um, tell me about your thought process with your talent show, what you did, um, and how you felt about your performance. Yeah, I, um, it was super random, but. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, yes. Um, I used to be married, right? And I had a cat with my ex-husband. Long story short, we got a divorce, he kept the cat, and I was like sitting around my apartment. I know, I know, I know. Cry for me, like whatever. Boo. I miss Boo, him all the time. Yeah, Boo. I know. Boo. <laughs> um, work. Um, no, but I was like sitting around my apartment, stoned out of my okay. mind, and then I took a shower and I was like, where's my kitty? My kitty. <laughs> this is not where I thought this was My going. either. <laughs> and then she touched herself for about 45 minutes and then went to bed. And I recorded it and then cl clipped it into like 60 seconds and that was my track. <laughs> okay. It, it's, it's risky to do um, original music, but I think you guys did it great. I thought it was, I thought it was so much fun. Yeah. I tend Thanks. to agree about the two of us. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. I just wanted something I could shake my ass at the club, too. That was all I was thinking about. And you did. Well, you, I, I think you've had quite a few people shaking their ass at the club, at home, at work, everywhere. You just be at the gym? <laughs> the That's fitness game? In the bathhouse? I'm at the house, at the house <laughs> listening to it. Bam. <laughs> Every now and then, just smack them together, girl. No, I love, I well, love, I love, I love. Y'all got to see each other's performances. What did you think of the second group of girls' talent show? Who were your standouts there? I mean, Nymphia. Oh, right. The, yeah. Uh, I really loved Plasmas. I thought it was so sickening. So, do y'all yes, agree Plain Jane should have won? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. No, she played the game, like I said earlier. I mean, you can't hate her for that. I guess. You can hate her for a couple other things, but for that, I am going to give her credit for it. She did that. She for won. That specifically, no. <laughs> we give her credit for Burger Finger. Props to you, mama. I lived. <laughs> I lived. I lived. Was there um, anyone that got praise that you were like, really? Was well, our episode or from the second okay. one? Both, both talents. Both, both episodes. Were you like, I don't really see what y'all see. I know Amanda really wants to say Don. Don? Ah, no, I don't! <laughs> I'm going to say it for you because I, I know you were not... You were thinking it. You were thinking it. Fuck Don. I hate her. Yes. Everyone oh. hates Don. Cheer! And the truth comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. No, honestly, I mean, it was kind of hard to tell because when you're sitting there, you're performing, I thought I slayed it. I got zero reception. The next girl goes, they live... I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, so it's hard to gauge the judges. Like, we were losing our fucking minds for her. They I don't were, know what she's were. talking about. <laughs> I guess, I guess. But you know, I mean, it's different because it's like, I don't know. You, you you don't know what to expect. Everybody, I felt like, got praise. Everybody got critiques. And so you're just like, <laughs> hoping for the best. Yeah. I didn't think. I don't know. I thought I slayed it, but I didn't know what I was gonna happen until I got until I got to you guys. <laughs> Well, I want to congratulate you guys because you guys auditioned one time and you fucking made it onto the show. No shit. That's absolutely amazing. We have girls that continue to audition and audition and audition and audition. <laughs> and there's are And we're back. All right, we'll go back. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> okay, it's the mirror chats before the challenge. And um, um, before we get to the guest judges, Amanda, I want to throw it at you. How did you get into being an OnlyFans ghostwriter, Diva? Well, <laughs> a dream job. Cause, cause it really was. Except, yeah, no, it was. Um, I had a friend, well, I still have her. One of my best friends back in LA was working for this, them, this, the place. And um, she was like, Diva, 
I got a work from home gig for you. <laughs> and she, I was like, well, what is it? She was like, it's essentially a uh, chat roulette, except you get paid. I said, sign me up. I've been training for this my whole life. Are you doing it in Gish? Oh yeah, every day. Yeah. Every single day. <laughs> so only scams. Yes, yeah, scam oh, girl. Yeah. Exactly. She's the CEO a scam of the scam. meeting. Right. Okay. So we have Sarah Michelle Geller as our guest judge, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, between the earlier guest judges, it was Becky G and forgive me, forgive me, who was Charlize the Theron. Charlize Thank Theron. You. When Becky G walked into the room, there's been speculation. Did y'all know who she was? Which one? Becky G. I wasn't there, but yes, I did. Okay. I was not there and I did not know. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. They should probably do better with that then. No, Mayores, that's like one of my favorite songs. She's about getting her money from an old man? Girl! I mean, I do have to say I got to give credit to RuPaul's Drag Race because they're, they're booking more Latino talent. Oh, they and are. And even with the contestants, there's more Latino contestants. So I'm really, really, really happy about that. Um, so if you don't know who Becky G is, well... Now Google. you do her. Now, now you do. Now you now do. Now you do. <laughs> okay, with that said, um, all right, so you guys are getting ready to do RDR live. Um, this was a challenge that was on All Stars, and they didn't tell us till the very, like, like getting close to it that there was actually going to be a teleprompter. They told you guys that from the very beginning, right? Because that affected people picking roles because they're like, oh my God, I gotta memorize all of this. Wow. But did they tell you guys from the bat, like, oh, there's a teleprompter? I, can't remember I don't think so. Out, yeah. I can't remember when we found out when the teleprompter... I don't remember most of my... I don't remember most of this. And then, <laughs> <laughs> let me ask you this. They did say we were gonna do it on one take. On our season, there were a couple gals that did do it more than once. Did that happen Woo! on your season? You don't have to tell us with who. But did it happen on your season? Did you notice if there were more than one take? We didn't yes. get to watch each other. Oh. Well, I mean, I didn't get to watch. <laughs> I did not get to watch any other groups other than my own. No. Y'all need to answer at the same time every time. Now. Every time. <laughs> and we did it in one take. How about that? Wow. I, I love wow. I love that Mirage was like, we're doing this together. <laughs> yes! And Amanda's like, not me, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> not no, what the me. Fuck? <laughs> Oh. She's a Capricorn. She's loyal. I'm, I'm not. Girl, well, you know what? I'm going to give it to you every time, correctly. Or not at all. How about that? Oh, period. <laughs> so, by this time, you guys have been together for... Um, oh, we're back. Oh, okay. Y'all give the divas a round of applause for, for RDR. RDR. Yes. yes. Y'all did that. Yes. Now, ladies... At this point, you're on stage, you say, you wrap it up. How are you feeling about your performances? I felt like I ate. I was like, oh, I was giving anchor woman. I was giving she's reporter. She oh, baby. <laughs> you know what? I, 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 I thought I slayed it. <laughs> I don't know. I always do. I felt like you have to. Yeah. You have to have that confidence, delusional or not. Yeah. Fuck it. I had fun. Were you able to see everybody else's performances? No, but everybody got to see mine. Yeah. Right, because oh, yeah. you kind of introduced every single one, kind of, so, right? No yeah. pressure, no pressure. <laughs> Did you guys get to see RuPaul perform? No. No? <laughs> no, I missed it. I was so sad. Yeah. I was in a different room, I think. Yes. Also, I was, we were powdering our noses at yes, that time. in the ladies' room. <laughs> also, let's give it up for RuPaul, 63 years old. <laughs> She looked good doing her thing. I live for her Yeehaw. little impromptu number. Work. Let's do a little promo for the Yeehaw, <laughs> for bitch. For the new album. <laughs> she said, save a horse, ride Michelle. Right. <laughs> okay, so are you guys feeling good about the decisions that you made with your role? Yeah. After, now that you performed it. Yeah, for yeah? sure. Oh, well, I guess going through the scene, I think like sitting next to Q, I was like, oh, this one has all the punchlines. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, hmm. But you had the blazer. But I had the blazer. That's yeah. why I let her have that so, role. So, <laughs> I didn't really run this. <laughs> who runs this shit? The bitch with the blazer. <laughs> now this being your first acting challenge of the season, what was the hardest part of it? Was it trying to keep up with the teleprompter or was it trying to know where to look? What, like, what was the hardest thing? I think for me the hardest thing was the um, the lack of audience. I didn't realize how much that affects your hosting. 
I mean, it's so huge. I mean, have you ever... That's the first time I've ever hosted to an empty room. So I was like, tell a joke, and I'd be like... <laughs> Tell us you're so, not an only like, child without telling us you're not an only child. <laughs> it's so hard to know if you're doing well or not. So I was like, well, you know, I read the teleprompter, I did the job, and I came off and I said, boom, bitch. And there was no, I don't know. That was hard for me. <laughs> Amanda, how about for you? Yeah, I think, like, knowing where to look. Um, I felt, like, good about <laughs> keeping up with the teleprompter, but just, like, being like, oh, okay. She's on television now. <laughs> and now getting to see it all together, which one of your sisters impressed you the most or had you rolling? Maya. Plasma. And Maya. Oh, I want plasma. Right. No, I, I got to see Maya's a little bit when, I was, when she was doing, because I did the whole, RuPaul, are you alive? The whole uh, Reaper Schmeeper thing. <laughs> no, the, with the background and everything, having it all together with the backdrop and the green screen and everything cracked me up. Maya with her wig falling off. <laughs> Maya destroyed me just now <laughs> with that. <laughs> I didn't know. And that's the loudest I've never heard her speak until that day. And she was screaming. <laughs> we could say the same thing. Right. I love that is that. what gagged me the most. She was screaming at the top of her lungs. And we were like, I had no idea. <laughs> okay, now on the opposite end, who would y'all say needs to be worried about their performance? Everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. If you did not make RuPaul laugh, you should be shivering and quivering and quaking in your boots, girl. Always. At all times, yes. I don't know. Was there a name, anybody that you could think of on top of your head? <laughs> oh, never mind. We're back. <laughs> that was right. fun. That was Gag. the good one. I'm surprised that it took this long for them to do a share runway, right? Honestly, Is this the first time yes. Did it? Yeah, yeah sure. that was some good looks. Did you guys enjoy that one? That was one of my favorites, yeah. I did. I thought that one, that one was Sydney. Everybody, well, most of the people look so <laughs> good. So beautiful. What, was this your, the one that you got to show on the runway, was this your original choice? No. no. Okay. <laughs> Actually, but I will say I, I looked at that picture when I found it. I said, that, "I can make that." That's how I make most of my decisions. I'm like, can I make that? And yes. So you made <laughs> yours. Yes. You made your, oh, work. Yes. yes. Sickening. Yes. An Anitra, Anitra helped me stone it. Absolutely. She was there. She helped me a lot. Actually, get that one together. But it was a crop top and a belt. I said, "Mama, I got this." <laughs> Watching your sisters get ready backstage, who was giving the most share for y'all? Attitude-wise? All of it. Mm. <laughs> Me. Yeah. Shut up, stupid. It was the face shape. It's the face shape. <laughs> Fuck off, bitch. Um, yeah, Amanda. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to Yes, of course. Yeah. Let, let's do it this way. Which one was your favorite share? Seeing it in the runway, see, backstage, getting ready, all of it seeing everything put together, which one was your favorite chair outside of your own? I will say that Plain and Morphine are the Same. two other options that I was going to do. So those are my favorites because I think they did it justice more so than I would have. So as much as I hate to admit that, they look sickening. <laughs> Boots. Yeah, no, I also picked Plains, the one with the Met Gala, and it was, she snatched it before I could get to it. So I said, I'm going to be the doll. Okay, um, Amanda the doll. Oh, no. Okay, I love Plain Jane, but I gotta give it up for Nymphia. That one gagged oh, me, yes. bitch. I was like, who took me out? I gotta give it up for Safira, bitch, because that was yes. that was drag. over. That was I'm, like over. Did nobody like Plasma? No, I loved. Oh no, I like, did. Oh, from the neck down, oh, it was everything. I, oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I thought Plasma yes. was gorgeous. No, you guys didn't like it. And I like Q's. Q's Q was, was stunning. stunning. Oh, yes. Yes. Q was so good. She there was were so a good. lot of really good ones. Q loves to be bald, I will say. Every she single is look. She bald. Oh, well, she is bald, but damn. I couldn't put a wig on because I just have too much of my own hair. Yes. But she's bald, girl. Put a, put a wig on. Oh, you don't agree? Was there, right. I, I'm not taking it back, though. <laughs> say it. Was there anyone that we were like, oh... Uh, that's all right. That's that's cute. I mean, my, to me, Maya's was I, I Maya. Was, she made me feel very good about my standing that yeah. day. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Wait, which one? What what did Maya wear? I don't remember. She did shares and going the to problem. the burlesque. Turn opening. back time. Oh, yeah. oh, the burlesque oh, yeah, the one. Burlesque. You're absolutely right. right. I I love Maya. She was hilarious in the challenge, but it gave me very Santiali like <laughs> leather jacket, black pants. Yeah, what yeah, yeah, the rest yeah. of the girls were giving. It was tour. just Ooh. you bought it. Right? Where I feel like everything else was kind of custom. I'm not buying it. <laughs> uh, She's returning it to Amazon. Uh, 
Which, which other one? Okay, so that one, and was there any other ones that we were like, huh? Let's ask the audience. <laughs> no. Maybe J- I was in... Y'all said Dawn. Dawn. Y'all want to train Dawn? I, and you know okay. what? The I heard Geneva. YouTube at home doesn't get to experience this, but I'm going to tell you guys, Roscoe's can be real shady because when they come out in the runways, if they don't like it, YouTube, they don't fucking clap. <laughs> They're so shady. I'm not going to say She's who. Not wrong. Somebody came out and everyone was like, <laughs> can I get a drink, please? <laughs> And then, oh, and then you have someone like Plain Jane come out, and then they're like, "Yes." <laughs> Q came out, yes. yes. No, I do. Maya came out. I mean, anyway, uh, let's <laughs> <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. What, what were you gonna say? What were you gonna say? <laughs> <laughs> Roscoe's, you guys are shady. That's why I love you. I love. No, Chicago has been turning it out this fucking yes. month. Yes. Yes. Ah. I love it here. Speaking of, is this your first stop with, uh, because you're going to start touring, going to sit? I think we're back. We're 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 going to come back to that. Uh, Yeah, we'll come back to that. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Okay, Mirage. So, uh, deliberations are back, right? Because they were gone for a little bit. If I'm, I, was it gone for the regular season or just All Stars? Because All Stars, they were gone, and I think they were gone for even the regular season. We've had them here. It's just um, now the judges are choosing the tops and bottoms instead of our competitors. No, choosing. no, but the critiques. We didn't they cut that out for a bit where we wouldn't even see what the critique was. They were just like real yeah, short. Well, oh, yeah, when it was a, a shorter it, it was episode a or something. Yeah, something yeah, was short. going on. Yeah, I remember that, minute. but. So you get to see your critiques. You got to see what they were saying while you were out and untucked. So tell me how you felt about what you just saw. Well, first and foremost, I was so happy that Michelle liked my hair. (laughs) That was the only thing I heard that day. She's sickening. She's gorgeous and beautiful. And for her to say that made my day. Um, And then I ignored everything else. (laughs) Per use, per use. Is there anything that you remember uh, critique-wise that they might have said that obviously didn't make the cut? Do you remember anything? Honestly, that was really that it. That was all of it. It was really kind of quick, to be honest. Okay, gorgeous. They said they showed everything yeah. this time. Yeah. And how are you feeling right now? Um, gorgeous yeah. and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Honestly, I love that. No, on- I mean... It's weird. It's so weird. This is like the most I paid attention to any episode so far because I've like every other viewing party I've been to has been loud. I haven't been hearing it. This is sickening, and I feel good. I feel good. I don't know. And I love the hair too. Did you guys love the hair? It was yeah, correct. I, loved the hair. I thought the hair was cute. I always think that they're you know every now and then they're just really stupid about some shit and they try to find something really Nitpick. stupid. If it comes down to historical accuracy or looking hot. I'm going to pick looking hot every time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just knew I was not going to look good in a flat Morticia-ass wig. And I was... It, I, lo- I tried it. I did. I looked spooky. I looked like Adam's family. And I said, no, we're doing bangs. <laughs> I'm glad you went with the look. I think you look absolutely beautiful. I Thank absolutely you. love Thank you. This. Yeah. Before we got into that, Nisha, you were asking, is this is your first time in Chicago or your second time here? Um, it's actually my third time. Okay. Yes. Three P. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was looking for my trade in the audience. I couldn't see that. Not oh, looking for the trade. trade. Not that you have trade here somewhere I live. Oh. No, what I was asking was, because um, you, you're going to, is this your first official drag race gig? Or have you been already working and oh, touring? Oh, and stuff? I've been working, girl. Yeah, yeah. So you started, <laughs> since, since they announced the cast, you've been working on stuff. Pretty yeah. much, yeah. Okay. I've only, the only time I've been in Vegas since the announcement was for the first episode. Okay, yeah. awesome. I had to. My well, I will uh, say this. Uh, at 10.30 and when we perform, you're going to experience this audience. And they are the best audience ever. Yay! So we'll have a good time when we perform. Welcome back, Amanda. Oh, there she is right there. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. oh, no. What were you doing? I'm sticking my bean. She's sticking my bean. So, <laughs> so Amanda, at this bean point, your nail. <laughs> girl... At this point, they have told you you're safe, right? Uh huh. And so you go backstage. How are you feeling with that? And I think we're back. She's we're getting drunk. Yeah, we're back. We're I was getting, back getting drunk queens. backstage. <laughs> All, All right. right. Make some noise one more time for, for Mariah.
Okay. We are going to get into Untucked. Uh, Untucked. <laughs> Untuck starts right away, it's right? It's windy it back there, girl. Yeah, yeah, it's going to start right away. Um, so let's just watch Untuck, and then we'll get into some more fun. Girl! Yes! Okay, so w watching it back um, and hearing what Safira said, how, which was a great message, by the way. Uh, love to see that side of Safira, by the way. Um, how did you feel at that, at that moment? Yeah, I mean, I felt very, I always felt very supported by Safira. Like, even that first episode of Untalked when she was like, your personality is so much better than your drag. I was like, okay, um, I think there's definitely, it's like, it's, the, it's when the teacher writes amazing potential on your report card. <laughs> You're like, okay, so you think I'm shit. <laughs> um, no, but I mean, it's great. It was like, I definitely, I obviously showed up and uh, had egg on my face, or was purple, I don't know, eggplant. Um, and sh I mean, it's like she just was very generous with me and gracious and like took the time to be like, no, okay, so no <laughs> what is this cunt? Oh, I'm sorry, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I love you so much. I just, went, <laughs> I just was looking at um, the, the, her, the, her titties. Yes, I'm like, gorge. She does. <laughs> Can we just? The but, woman that she is. But I'm so sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I don't remember what I was saying because oh, ADHD, but... Um, <laughs> how about Safira? How you felt about the critique? What was happening oh, yeah. right now in Untucked? You felt yeah. good about it? Yeah, Yeah, I felt great. I mean, I felt like I knew that from, what, this is episode four, from where I was on episode one, I was obviously, like, giving something better than what I showed them the first day. So I was like, that's sickening to me. I'm cunting. Cunt is a verb now. Now, being, you know, being on the show, there could be several things going on, right? But in the first couple of episodes, this was highlighted. Your makeup and what Safira was saying and uh, what Plain James said to you. How was that affecting you and your psyche while you're competing? Were you like, what the fuck? Like, serious? Because, you know, yeah, you completely. Right. Well, and I also, like, I said earlier, I, like, used to be married, but, like, when we filmed this, I was five months out of a divorce. So I was, like, experiencing at a level. And then, <laughs> and then we got to Drag Race, and I had five designers who were doing runways for me that just kind of fucked me over. And so I literally had, like, five unfinished runways that I was, like, pissing and shitting myself every night over trying to finish in the, like, hotel. So I was, like, already... <laughs> there was so much happening. So it was like when somebody, like Safira coming, I mean, she didn't come for me, but like when Safira was like commenting and giving feedback, it was like, this felt like very helpful, maternal, very like, oh, I'm gonna, I'll read you, but then I'll be like, okay, now use this. But then otherwise it was not. Rolling, rolling. Girl. 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 Okay, before we get into it, um, Mirage, you did um, unfortunately leave us too soon this episode. Um, I have a feeling this isn't the last we've seen of you, but you did say you felt like you let everyone down. Just know you did not, Diva. You tore it up. We are so fucking proud of you. Thank and we're you. so thankful to have you here, so thank you for sharing that with us. Absolutely. And, and go stream, she's such a bitch. Yes! Yeah. And listen, to be, to, to, to have gone home and right now, what, how, it was that you did this how, how long ago? Two weeks ago? Was, it was two weeks ago, right? And right now it's the highest amount of streams that it's gotten up to date is now, which means it's still streaming. People are still listening. You really captured us. We are so privileged to be able to watch you on there. Yes, it was short-lived, but that don't mean shit, mama. All, baby. Congratulations. It really is only beginning for you. And don't forget, 10.30, we're performing. You get to see Mirage perform. All right, work. Okay, so we're going back and we're visiting that we week visiting. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, two things. I'm, I'm noticing two things. I feel like I can, I can definitely relate with, like, plain Jane because she's, like, saying I'm sorry, and then she's like, well, fuck, this is the last time I'm going to say sorry. But I also feel like... Did you feel like you still wanted to talk about, like you wanted to let something out? Cause I don't know, I felt like you still wanted to like let her have it kind of. I mean, I just, I'm like, I didn't care to let her have it in that moment. Cause I was like, this is not what I'm here for. I'm here to just like do me and focus on myself. And like, if she doesn't see it for me, that's so sickening. Like I don't, who knows? Maybe I don't see it for her. It doesn't matter. It's like, okay. 
Do you think it was more the cast? And Mirage, you can attest to this. Do you think it was you guys more like, bitch, ask her again, ask her again. Tell her. You know what I mean? Yeah, was like geeking, geeking it up? Like, No, honestly, I was surprised that it was still a thing after so many days. We're like, okay, girl. Okay, we know. She's ugly. Get over it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> But it's also like, God damn, if you're going to call me ugly so much, just come over and help. Like, gee. <laughs> okay, fix the problem. Okay, like, if you have something to say, say it. <laughs> oh, and she said it. Uh, well, well, no, I, she just said you're ugly. Oh, 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 oh. But oh, oh, oh. do you think that, I feel like, Amanda, when you came in first, like, you were kind of like, oh, my God. You're, like, just, like, so excited that I felt like that made you look vulnerable. Yes. And, like, you were kind of, like, to the naked eye, it felt like you were kind of fangirling over some of these girls when I, you I deserved to be there just as well as they did, you know? So I feel like now, now we're seeing... Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. And I feel like now we're seeing it like, okay, we're not, we're not doing this villain shit, bitch. It's clear to everyone and everyone on the cast that you have been growing each and every week. Yeah. And I think that's what Drag Race is about. Not being stagnant, it's about growing. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yes. thank you. Well, I really put. appreciate that. Now, Tsunami brought up a good question. How are you and Jane now? Plain Jane is my coworker, <laughs> and I treat Plain Jane with the respect that I would afford any coworker. Okay, that is what a woman whose name is a mandatory meeting is the professionalism that we would expect. Girl, she is a working woman, and she is not afraid of any bitch. I'm really not. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> Um, before we get into a few questions with you, Divas, we want to say thank you to everyone who's watching on Friday and Saturday. For being a VIP member, you can catch all of our videos dropped then. And if you're watching on Monday, consider becoming a Roscoe's VIP member for only $1.99. But um, yes. speaking of VIP members, we have a few questions from some of them. Do we not? And some shout outs? Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do these uh, shout outs to some of our YouTube VIP members, including Justin from the Philippines. Yay! Abu, hi. We want to say hello and hi to Matt in Melbourne. Thank you so much for watching. Hello to Brandon and Oscar in Houston, Texas. We're going to say hello to Jesse in New Jersey. Hi, Jesse. All the way from Cincinnati. Thank you for watching, Dylan. We appreciate you so much. Hi to Ash and Kerala in India. All right, all the way in India. And Jody in East Lansing, Michigan. Get Not out of there. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to say howdy and hello to the Joshes in Omaha, Nebraska. Thanks for watching. Hello to Cameron and Zoe in North Carolina. Yeah, let's give it up for Bra <laughs> Brady Daddy. Yes. Hey, Brady Daddy, all the way in Las Vegas. Do you, know him? Do you know him? <laughs> do, you, do you know Brady Daddy? I would like to meet him. <laughs> <laughs> all the way from the islands of Hawaii, give it up for Eli and Mike. Thanks for watching, y'all. No, go ahead. Um, you're, you're next, Batty. Read that. Why don't you read that, boo? Why don't you read that? <laughs> Show us that Michigan education. <laughs> oh, so the girls are reading. <laughs> also, oh. hello to do in South Africa. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching. And listen, thank you for everyone that watches. Um, special thank you, like I just said to the beat. You know you, you know you put your dash. I up. love you. Hey, thank you. Just DM me, girl. <laughs> I'll our send you a shirt. Our apologies. But anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And of course, to our live audience, thank you guys for getting tickets and sitting down and enduring us. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so... Let's go back a little bit into Untuck before we go back into it. Um, and then we're going to get down to some VIP questions. Um, okay, I see that you're telling Amanda, you're like, bitch, I don't know the fucking words. I don't know the song. So at that point, what is going through your mind? I knew from the moment that Maya said, did her Kermit the Frog impersonation that I was in the bottom two because I'd never seen RuPaul laugh like that. They cut some of it out and she, she was a car. cackling. Oh, oh, shit. We're back. We're back. Oh, sorry. So back. Okay. So we were talking about... I totally forgot. Me too. Well, about the yes, girls. how amazing yeah. Mirage is. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, that's a great segue. Whoever said that, thank you. <laughs> thank you. 
Okay, any regrets besides not knowing the words? Also, wait, I did hear you say something. You said it could have been any other song. Does that mean you, is it is it because you were learning all the other ones and not that one, or what? Yes! No, every other song I was kind of excited for, and this is the one that I was like, never heard of her. I've never heard of her in my life. <laughs> and if, of course, it's Cher, so I know you're going to read me. I know you're going to read me. But it's too late. I went home already, so fuck it. <laughs> Mirage, did you express before that moment that we saw that you didn't know that specific song at any other time before? It was definitely during the Untucked. That moment that we had with Amanda, it was, it was longer, of course, but like we were like, she was trying to talk me down and get me into a better headspace. It was too late. I knew I was done. But that was it. That's all there was. It was just, uh, we had a cute moment. <sighs> Nay, she made a good point last week that the mics are always hot when the girls are in, in Untucked. Amanda, do you think Mirage saying she didn't know the words may have played into the judges putting her in the bottom? I can't speak to that, but I definitely, when, when my sister looked at me in Untucked and said she did not know the words to Dark Lady by Cher, I said, <gasps> um, She said, shut the fuck up. Don't I was like, <laughs> girl, you might shut the fuck up. I know, I kept forgetting I was on TV. I was just living my life. Uh, okay, she thought she was in the back room at the club, bitch. Right! You know some Literally. of the words, girl. I, you know what, I will say, I did know the first two verses, and they were showing Geneva for that part. <laughs> Sabotage! The, the, and then the, the, this part was also my favorite. <laughs> Got that every time, I will say. <laughs> I did not miss a clap. And it's funny because I don't know if you guys clocked it, but Ross Matthews said, when you were backstage, you said, and he quoted one of the girls. I don't remember what it was. I don't know if you guys caught that. But he quoted, he said, you said backstage, blah, blah, blah. And he said the whole thing. And it's like, you're not How safe you've known that? back there. You know what I mean? Everything you say, it's like, no tid. Um, but with that said, we do have... Um, with the VIP membership, you are able to submit some questions, and we will gladly ask our guests the questions. But before we do that, I want to say goodbye to everyone at the front side of the bar. We will no longer be on your screens. If you want to join us for Q&A, you can make your way Come all the way to the back of the bar. We're going to turn that side into the club, throw some music on. You can drink, kiki, do the most over there. But here, we're going to have a Q&A with our two gorgeous oh, guests. Oh, Q is here? Yep. <laughs> Get her out! Oh. Enough so, with the cue ball already. All so right. uh, <laughs> let's get this started. Um, Patty, do you want to start with the first one? Yeah, our first question is from Millie Deans, 5725. Hey, girl. And this is from Mirage. Do you have any tips on performing in pleasers without breaking your ankle? Ooh, stretch. First of all, well, that's a big one. No, that's a big one. Because be prepared to fall down. Be ready to bust your ass. And you got to roll with it. And if you're not ready to like laugh at your again, if you can't laugh at yourself, how are you gonna laugh at anybody else? <laughs> well put, well put. Um, at New Bigging, also for Mirage, they said, "Can you teach all of us how to do the dog leash pull from your talent show, or will there be an oh! eight count video on how to do it?" There, you know, should I? Should yeah, I do a video? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Let me ask you this: Will you be doing it in your performance later on today? Will you well, be doing it? If you're doing it tonight, you're all going to have to stick around and see it tonight. Ooh, so, okay. Well, you know what? I wasn't planning on it uh -huh. because I had another song that I thought was very appropriate. And it's not Dark Lady. Don't get excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to learn the words now. What the fuck? <laughs> but I'm doing Dark Lady tonight. Bitch. I'm not. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> um, I was thinking about it. Maybe if you guys like really nice, we'll see how drunk I get, and I might do a little encore. Fuck it, it's a we'll, minute long. We'll see. Don't That's worry, we'll get her nice and liquored up for you. Okay. <laughs> Track is sixty seconds. We can do it. <laughs> All right. So you want to go with the next one? Uh, yeah, this, this is from Matthew thing. fifty-eight hundred. Uh, this is for both of you girls. Um, how has the transition um, into being a Rue girl been so far? Honestly, oh, go ahead. It's been uh, crazy, girl. It's been a lot. It's it's very much like it. Uh, I feel like I always had ADHD, right? But now I feel like I have so many more things to think about and so much less capacity to do so. I'm literally. People text me. They're like, "Hey, Amanda, uh, do we have plans tomorrow for lunch?" And I don't text them. And the next day, they're like, "Hey, bitch!" And I'm like, "Sorry, it's canceled. I've got meetings. I'm a celebrity now." <laughs> Get me out of here. 
No, I will say it is literally it's so gaggy. I literally am doing the exact same shit that I've been doing the last five years, but now people are looking at me. It is gaggy. <laughs> it's so fun. Honestly, highly recommend if you get the chance. Go ahead and do it. Um, it's so fun. It's like nothing. Like it's everything like you want, but at the same time. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for all of this. But it's so, I live for it. I'm taking it one day at a time, and um, I don't know. I guess I'm done now. Fuck it. Uh, she's uh, Princess uh, Poppy. She's quitting drag. I'm quitting drag. I'm going to go live with Princess Poppy, and we're going to live in a straight, we're going to, yes, we're straight men now as well. It's, well, let me ask you this. If next year they were to be like, hey, um, we would like you to do an all-star season, would you do that? Wait, wait, wait. She, let her think about it. It's, oh, it's, it's, a lot it's, just happened tonight. Listen, listen, it's very right. traumatic. It's girl, very, very traumatic. I when still you do might that. cry later. I'm so, let, me, let, me get, let me get two more days. The girl is know. experiencing at a level. At a high level of velocity. I, it's definitely not no. I would love to go back because I felt like I didn't even duke it the first time, low key. Barely even got to do it. So, absolutely, yes, I would go back. But the timing is what we're talking. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, timing has to be right. No, absolutely. Yes. absolutely. I would like to get a few more right. gigs under my belt so I can yeah. get some money. Yeah. But I'm still going to be naked. I'm still going to be, you know, so we'll see. True to yourself. But like Kahana Montrese. Yeah. She did naked expensively. Yeah. And yes, that's yes, how yes. I'm trying to come back yes. to All Stars. Absolutely. <laughs> so you're going to be all done. Just so you're going to be a woman. Oh, no. I'm going to have a brand new ass. I'm going to have new teeth, <laughs> mama. When I come back, I'm going to be a completely different person. <laughs> I have a question for Amanda uh, it's from JJ Frank, and they say you were in the same acting program with my sister Diana in Ohio. What Ohio. is your dream role? Alphaba in Wicked. Yeah. What? Yes. You love to paint your body. I really do. <laughs> and I, and you know what? I would maybe even be purple, but I would wear this hair. I would wear it. And then Mirage, I have this one question for you. Uh, this is yes, from... Yes, I'm single. I, I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's the Hykelization. You got it. Yeah, that's Good what job. I think it is. Mirage, and they want to know, classic. how were you able to so quickly transform your failed outfit into a presentable one on that uh, design challenge? Like, how'd you go about that? Well, when I tell you right now that drag is all about getting it together before you get on the stage... There, the, if you saw what was going on back there, bitch, I, we, their girls forgot their tucking panties. We forgot our lashes. The show must go on. So as a professional drag queen, that's what you got to do. We got to sell shit every day. So I, as much as I was worried, you know you want to be on Drag Race, you want to look the best you've ever looked in your whole life because everybody's going to be reading you down. But at the end of the day, a professional drag queen is going to get her shit together. She's going to go on that stage and she's going to sell a pile of dog shit the best she can. Or with a, a smile. purple face. <laughs> or a purple face. <laughs> we you have just got to do it. There's really no, oh, how did you do it? Like, well, girl, it's going to happen whether you're ready or not. Yes. And if you're in the audience, if you have any questions, think of those. We'll come down there and get a few from y'all in just a little bit. But our next VIP question is from at Trent T. They want to know, who are some drag icons y'all look up to or who inspire your drag? Local, legendary. Ah. Uh. I, I have to say, one of my, fa I know I say this all the time, one of my favorites that I look up to right now is Alexis Mateo, because Bam. she is the, like, pinnacle of professionalism. Everything that, everything you've seen on television, the, like, the level of drag that she brings to television is what she brings to every single gig, bitch. Whether she's drunk as fuck or not, she's gonna look good. Was she able she to like, help hey. you or get you um, anything for she this? She did. She did. She gave me a lot of advice. She got me together. She did one of my gowns that I never got to wear. But, yeah, I'm excited. Like, she's one of my favorites. And, like, being nice. Being on time. I didn't do that today. I'm still working <laughs> on it. <laughs> but, like, starting, all the little things. She is everything. She's, um, Auntie, Auntie Alexis. <laughs> Amanda, who's that for you, Diva? I feel like I could never just pick one. Give us a few. Yeah, like when I first really became aware of drag and like t drag on television, I was like super into Bianca Del Rio, Adore Delano, and then I was super into like Katya, Bob the Drag Queen, and then over the last few years, I've just been obsessed with the dolls. Sasha Colby, yes! uh, 
uh, uh, Jasmine Kennedy, the, the yeah. divas and the dolls, baby. I've said that before. Vegas drag is very, some say pedestrian, but it is completely run and inspired and influenced by the dolls. The so doll. that is Vegas drag. I'm sorry, I was naked every single time. I'm a little skirt. I'm a little wear a little two piece, but that's Vegas drag, baby. We are naked and slutty every time. Do you guys have uh, a drag family, specifically drag mothers, that uh, helped you out with your drag or anything like that? I'm an orphan. I have no mother. Um, I literally got ready for Drag Race with my two drag sisters that I had met like a year and a half before that. I was flying by the seat of my fucking tuck and panties, girl. <laughs> I have a drag mother. She comes from the legendary house of Pendoavis. Pendoavis? Um, okay. But she changed her name to Amoro because she's a huge Nami Amoro fan. Okay. And so I took her name. And she is also a trans woman. So again, that highly, highly, highly influences my drag. It's very just cunty and woman and What's feminine. her name? Let's send her a shout out. What's her name? Oh, oh. Her name is Debbie Amoro. If you're in Vegas, she is not performing, so she just living. <laughs> you're like, I, she's I not took the booked. baton. <laughs> she takes private appointments these days. Okay. She's also single. <laughs> she's right. cunty. Abe X Gamma wants to know your favorite memory from your hometown bars when you first started doing drag. <laughs> My home to well, like, wait, when I first started doing drag? Yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> well, Roscoe's was lovely. Um, it was a great debut for me. <laughs> first gig ever. Uh, <laughs> and it shows. <laughs> JK, stop. I can say that. You can't. Yeah, exactly. But <laughs> now, what was your lady's this? Um, so you see throughout, uh, uh, and after this question, uh, after this question, we're going to start with the audience questions, but let's do this last one. Um, so I asked about drag family. Obviously, you get on the race, and then it's like class of, you know, 16, season 16. Um, do you have sisters that you're really close to, that you've, like, created a bond with, maybe outside? Because some of us will start calling each other and doing, you know what I mean? So have you done that? And if so, with who? Um, I'm kind of gagged. Actually, the fact that like I really, really, really talked to all of them, which is crazy. I was not expecting that. I will say my, my best friend in the whole world is Plain Jane. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I only said that because um, um, Amanda's here. But <laughs> no, literally, I could call any too. single one of them. They all texted me tonight because they knew I was going home. It was really sickening. And the only one I really don't know is Maya because she's so quiet. <laughs> But, yeah, I've talked to every single buddy, and um, Amanda really helped me through a lot. Of, when I first got off, she really helped me a lot because I was going through it, of course. And um, you're, like, such an empath. Aww. And she really feels it for the dolls. I do. I love <laughs> That's why I'm glad you're here, bitch. Um, yes, give it up for me. So empathetic. Give it up for, Amanda. Give it up for me. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the meeting. Give it up for such a good sister, a mandatory meeting. <laughs> Um, who am I close with? I'm close with pretty much everyone. Not everyone. Um, I would love to get closer to Tsunami. Ooh. Uh, you're she's going to watch this later. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, bitch. They have a date after this. Um, <laughs> oh, a little Tsunami kai kai does, queen. Tsunami does watch this. She does watch this. <laughs> Hi, Suzu. Um, who I text? I talk to Dawn Plasma a lot. I talk to Saphira a lot. Morphine, pretty well, much. Girl, you all live in the same city. The whole cast. Morphine. No. Well, oh yeah. There's a bunch <laughs> of girls who live in New York right now. Girl, oh. it's like six New York girls, and there's like down the line Boston, Philadelphia, Miami, Miami, and then there's me. Oh, Vegas. the way over there you with could, Hershey. You could go see Hershey. Yeah, come on. I do. Is she singing? <laughs> she She's is. like early out diva. I love Hershey. <laughs> Right. I'm going to ask one last question. Um, okay, so you get cast, you start preparing, you reach out to designers, you get everything made, you get on set, you do the talent show, you're there the first day, no one goes home, you start doing everything, right? So you've seen the show. So are you... <laughs> She's been the, there a I'm, couple I'm times. I'm trying to set it up, get, <laughs> get you in that state of mind again <laughs> when you first got there. Now, were you like, this is nothing like I expected or this is everything that I expected and was it 
in disappointment or not? Ooh. I mean, disappointment is a strong word for sure. Definitely going the fuck home was a disappointment. But other than that, like, I kind of went in there with no expectations. Like I kind of said, I really didn't have, like, a master grand plan. I said, I'm going to come out here. I'm going to be real. I'm going to have a good ass time. And bitch, they sent me home. So don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I had a similar strategy. I just, like, showed up and I was like, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to be myself. Um, I can't say it was that surprising that I made so many friends because I make friends everywhere I go. And you made some enemies uh, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was fun. Um, disappointing. No, it was sickening. I feel like I've worked in like showbiz before, so I was like, it wasn't that crazy of a like a shock to my system. I was like, yes, this runs like I feel like it should. I was having a good ass time. I was having fun every single day until the last day. Until the very last one. I was one. having fun. I was so gagged, but well, fuck it. Hi, <laughs> right, Divas. We have a question right over here. Stand up Ooh. for me. What is your name and who's your question for? And Hi. are you a single? My name. My name is Simon. My question's for Mirage. Do you regret not having an exit line? And if so, what would it be? No. Why? First of all, I did not prepare an exit line because I was not prepared to leave. <laughs> I. And even if I did, literally the whole vibe was, I gotta get out of here. I was crying, I hate crying, it was so embarrassing. I said, I gotta go, bitch. I didn't say bye, I didn't wave. Um, no, I did not have an exit line. I will say though, that I didn't realize that was the last time you talked to the girls. Yeah. Like when you walk off that stage, you never see them again. Nope. I was gagged. Until tonight. This is <laughs> the first time we've seen this. <laughs> oh, that kind of hurt my feelings when I was like, oh, I literally have to go back home and like stew on this for a year? Oh. <laughs> But yeah, no exit line. I was not ready for that. Betty, I'm gonna throw it to you, Diva. Hey, I have my question right here. Stand up. What's your name? My name is Mandy. I'm from Chicago. My question is for Mirage. So your talent show number is probably the best trick to come out of the franchise ever. I've been playing it nonstop on the Spotify. I absolutely love it. Have you given any thought to releasing an extended track that includes the heel clacks, because we all need to hear that in our lives, right. but also maybe a guest verse from Bob the Drag Queen or Alaska, since they've both been openly crushing on you this entire season. Any thoughts on more from Mirage? Give she it up for did your her homework, homework, bitch. This is your right. new manager. She did her fucking She's homework. She's going to set the collaboration up. And have you also thought about collaborating with a mandatory meeting and doing a cat dog fantasy? Because my kitty and she's such a bit. You better walk that pussy. Okay. I have not. Um, <laughs> no, that, um, yes to the extended mix. And there's some things in the works. We, um, I, I may or may not be um, a recording artist all of a sudden. I don't know. It's something, once again, like drag really took my whole life by storm. I didn't think I was gonna be doing this. So the fact that the whole song took off, I'm gonna roll with it. And we're gonna have some more music. We might have a full features. We might have a little video or whatever. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna tease a few things. Okay, our next question's right here. Would you stand up for me? Oh, and the, the collabs, go ahead, Diva, one more time. What? Did she say something about the collabs? I'm just saying, do you want to say anything to Bob in Alaska? Because they've been openly crushing on you, and maybe... I would love to crush back. I, you know what, I'm not, all, all I'm going to say is that... I don't... Well, yes. I don't you, don't have to give it, you don't have to give it away if you don't want okay. to... Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. There's just stuff in the works. Stay Let's tuned say and, yeah. and, and, and watch my story. Yeah, and yeah. stream my stuff on Spotify. Oh, okay. oh, Spotify. Thank you. <laughs> but and yes, our, there is stuff in the works. And um, be, stay tuned. What is your name, Gorgeous? And who's our question for? My name is Colin. I have a question for Amanda, and I also want to say something to Mirage. Mirage... Te amo mucho. First of all, I don't want to hear you ever say we're not proud of you again or else I have a big ass chancleta coming your way, mommy. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amanda, we've been seeing in three episodes quite a lot of hate from Miss Spirit Airlines economy, but in the season, who was most supportive of your growth throughout the show? Good question. Yeah, I would say everyone except for her. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've, I feel like it was a very supportive environment for me. 
whenever she and I were far apart. And <laughs> I would just be like, hey, girl, does this look OK? And then if, no, if she wasn't around, people would be like, yeah, looks, yeah oh, 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 fix this, fix this. I'm like, oh, OK, 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 work, work, work. Thank you. I love you, too. Hi, we have a question right here from our valued member each and every week. Steph? Gold member. Gold member, bitch. Hi. So my, my question's for everybody, but I want to start it with, I promise it's fast, a quick little story for Mirage. Um, so I'm so happy you mentioned Alexis, because in 2019, I dragged my mother to Charlie's in Vegas because I was not leaving that city without seeing Alexis Mateo. Yay. But it was, we had been up for like 18 hours, and my mom had never like seen a drag queen in person before. And we walked in there, and this beautiful little lady in a long ponytail came up to us. It was Alexis. And, um, and, and, and talk to us. You introduce yourself to me and my mom. And I could tell that, like, she just immediately felt actually comfortable there. And it surprised her so much. And so, first of all, I want to thank you for, like, welcoming my very unsuspecting mother into that world of drag. You gained a fan in me ever since. So excited to see you on the show. Um, but for everyone, my question then is, like, is there a person, a show, a bar that like when you started drag or started coming out even before you were doing it, um, that really kind of welcomed you into the scene and into the art form that you want to talk about? I'm going to say no. <laughs> I'm also going to say no. <laughs> yeah, no, when I started, it was, it was, drag is very bitchy. It's very cutthroat. Imagine four plain Janes and you're trying to start drag. Girl! Wild. You just have to do it. You just have to do it and fuck everybody else and believe in yourself. And whether you look like trash or not, own it and be that trash queen and have a good laugh at yourself and fuck everybody else. And why did she look at me when she said trash queen? Uh, uh, well, to be fair, I called everybody in the first episode trash. That's true. That's true. That's, true. <laughs> That's my opening line. <laughs> yes, and I'll stand by Your it. Your closing line should have been, well... Guess I gotta take out the trash. Ah. <laughs> no, my mirror message said, well, I hope you, um, what's it called? Oh, what was it? You were there, I wasn't. <laughs> I don't remember. Our I said, well, I guess the trash bag lost. <laughs> Our next question's <laughs> over here, divas. Um, what is your name and who's your question for? Hey, I'm Jeremiah from Chicago. First of oh. all, Caramel, you look stunning. Thank you. My question is for Amanda. So I know you started touring with Kinky Boots. Would you mind talking about the transition from being an actor to a full-time drag queen? Trans. Um, <laughs> yeah, I would say there's like a lot of stuff that is kind of, that carries over, like the, the you know, rehearsal and the go, going to the gig and being with the girls in the dressing room. And it feel, I feel like that definitely prepared me for this. Um, the thing that's really crazy is having to fucking do your own makeup and costumes and hair. I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm like, I, I, you know, so I've been like, I've been performing like on stage in drag for like longer than I've been doing the other stuff and taking it out to the bars. So I was like, oh, well, pumping on stage in kinky boots with a wig somebody else paid for and a, a Broadway costume, this is sickening. <laughs> and then I walked into that fucking bar in downtown LA in AliExpress, not so sickening. <laughs> Um, before we go to the next question, I do want to piggyback Jeremiah, who just asked the question. He is on his way to New York as a oh, actor, oh. and that is also Caramel's partner. And so we just want to wish you the best of luck on your acting journey, and we're going to miss Yay! you. Thank you, Betty. <laughs> you got this, bitch. All right, what's your name? My name is Jerry. Uh, I wanted to see... Going into Drag Race, you guys didn't have a big drag family, but now going after, you do. What difference do you see in your drag afterwards? Do you see you guys, um, your drag expanding? Are they helping you out more? I see you've grown in Drag Race on your own, which is an applause in itself, but going forward, do you see yourself going up there higher and higher? Or? Yeah. I, feel like, I feel like we've plateaued. Yeah. I feel like we're done growing. No, never, never, <laughs> never. Yeah, same. This I is actually, why I stay, bitch. Take it or leave it. Yeah, <laughs> this is this is as good as it's ever gonna get. <laughs> I, you know, you know what? I think drag is a community of bitches who hate each other and love each other, and you gotta find the ones who love you more than they hate you. I don't know, and everybody's helping each other a little bit. It's a read. Sometimes it's helpful if you can take it that way. You can take it that way. If it's a read and it's hateful. 
ignore them. Oh. Honestly, you supporting you supporting uh, Mirage at the end. It was phenomenal, especially since you got so much shit from somebody else. You know. So yes, we won't no, say their you, name. Thank you. You have another one over there? No. She was supporting me because she knew she was in the bottom. <laughs> All right, I have a question right here from Shiny Shirt. What's your name? Hi, I'm Ricky. Um, my question is kind of for everyone. Right now, I guess with uh, Plain Jane's introduction into Drag Race, there's a lot of conversation as to what qualifies as shade and what qualifies as kind of like mean. And so I kind of wanted to know your opinion about what you think qualifies as shade versus just disrespect. Oh, I Amanda, I know you're ready for this one. Well. Shiny shirt. I know Amanda is ready for this one. I'm gonna let you go first. <laughs> girl, I could write a fucking dissertation on this. I just think, girl, it's all about nuance, right? And it's all about context. And like the things that Plain said to me on camera, like out of context, I think that could have been taken in a sisterly way. But I think it's one of those things where you have to look at the situation and like she and I didn't really have any kind of relationship at that moment, which is when Mirage is clocked. Like, so it was like, it's like, you have to think about where it's coming from, who it's landing on, the delivery, you know? Are you, are you saying, I really hope you're able to sway my opinion on how bad you look. Right. That and has to be a joke. Right. It's like... If it's not funny... I think the point of reading in shade is that it has to be funny. It has yes. to be a joke. Yes. And it's like... It can be true. Yeah. It can, be, it, it can also be mean. Like, it's okay for it right. to be mean. But I think it's like... It's one of those things where just saying the meanest thing you can think of in that moment is not necessarily funny. It, w it was funny to me, I will say. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear from one of the shadiest queens... Um, the difference between Shay, Nasha, do you have anything to say? Oh! <laughs> Let because us have it! Speak, please. Excuse me? Perdón con permiso? Yeah, I said it. <laughs> I'm learning, bitch. Who said that? It, <laughs> I've always been saying that. Whatever. Um, okay, look, it's real simple for me. It is about timing. There is a time and place for everything. Yes. If Plain Jane would have said that at a different time where the conversation was open to criticism, it would have been received differently. You have to know when to throw shade, when to joke around, and when we're, have, we're being serious. At that time, it was not the It was right hateful. Time. And it, was, it came off as hateful. Um, so that's for me. For me, it's all about timing. Booyaka. I say the yeah. same thing, honey. Yeah. Do we have any more questions? We have one more question right here. Would you stand up for me, gorgeous? What is our name and who's our question for? I am Cohen. Uh, my question's for Amanda. Um, my friends keep telling me you're really funny, and it's true. You're really funny. <laughs> Thank you. And it's, you're such a light and a joy, and I'm wondering where do you get uh, your sense of humor from? Trauma. <laughs> Amen, baby. Funny bitches have trauma. Remember okay. that. Okay. <laughs> And you're an only child. Oh, you said you trauma. Did you say trauma? Trauma, yeah. Oh, yeah. With a T, honey. <laughs> Amanda, you said that you're the only you're an only child. Are you, are you is that true? I am. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah, boots. Alright, we're gonna do one last question. Hi, scoot up here for me, just because it's in front of the speaker. Yeah, we got you. Hey, what is that big ass radiator? What right. is your name and who's our final question for? I'm Benny. I'm from San Francisco. Also, Nisha's a woman. Yes. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> now you're pushing it. I Eat know, it, I know. I told Eat you it, last Patty. time I was such a fan of you last time, but uh, Nisha, Jesus She's Christ. She's a woman. <laughs> but my question's for Mirage. You're such a fucking icon. Like, Thank you. It, it, this is without uh, TikTok understands that you're an icon. It's, it's insane. Which also show, goes to show that uh, RuPaul's Drag Race doesn't have the, um, their heart on the pulse. Finger on the pulse, yes. But uh, top three places to go for tourists in Vegas, go. Ooh, I'm going to be so much trouble if I don't say my own bar, but... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. It depends on what time you start, girl. There's like a pregame situation. I'm going to say there's the Phoenix. You want a pregame over there? There's, um, there, is, um, there is the Garden. You want a pregame over there? If you are looking for somewhere to shake that ass and party and dance the house down and maybe take some drugs and get lit... Uh? Whoa. 
<laughs> I'm just being real. Okay. She's talking <laughs> what about else marijuana. Is? Don't think anything else, guys. We're talking I was talking about water. Weed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. uh, of course, I have to say Piranha Nightclub is I like... I was going to say, girl, the home bar. <laughs> girl, that's like one of the places where you end the night. Aside from Piranha, there's going to be Gypsy. Ah, I got to say that, too. Um, and, and then Quads. Quads is where you end the night Ooh. when you're like, after Ooh. hours. Ooh. You've been. Ooh. Yeah, I the, have. The wig was off. I have. <laughs> okay. Girl, no. Quads Las Vegas is where you want to go when you are. It's 9 a.m. There's no windows in oh, there. 9 a.m. Like, oh, no. Nah. The, the windows are like, the windows I mean, are blacked nah. out. Yes. With black paint. Like oh, you it walk is a in mess. There and you have no idea what time it is. Yes. I thought it was a sensible 9 a.m. and it was 2 p.m. when I walked oh, out of there. Oh my god! Oh. No, no, but I had just been out a couple hours. I'm not staying from the night before. A couple days. <laughs> <laughs> right, I have been there for two days. No, um, yeah, but Vegas could be. It's. I do have a question about Gypsy. Is Gypsy a new place? Sister bar to Piranha. Give me the dirt on that because yeah, I have no tea? idea what's going on. So Gypsy is a club that used to be open, I want to say, many, many moons ago, before I even started drag. It was this legendary club. Um, it was on Bar Rescue, LOL. They did not do very well. <laughs> um, and then um, the owner of Piranha, who was also the owner of Gypsy in the past, brought it back. She's back in all her glory. Loki, way prettier than Piranha, if I'm going to be honest. Um, if you're bored and you want to come check it out, um, Yana Sophia is hosting a viewing party there every Friday night. And it's sexy. They got a sushi bar. Um, what was the question? Not fishing. The where drag is it, bar, Where bitch. is it located? Is it? Oh, it's directly across the street. That's the one. It's yes. just brand new, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's a new contract, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, what's, yeah. Okay, it's, what's, what's, it's still, I would still go there first. Like, it's more of like a, you go there, get your cocktail, leave your fantasy. When you still look cute, go take your pictures over there because it's prettier. And then when you're ready to, like, turn the fuck up and get weight blocked out, then go to Prana across the street. <laughs> and, and I'll be there. Yes. Yeah. Girl, you'll be on tour. Okay. You will not be there. But uh, very true, very um, true. do you guys want to tell us who's going to be here next week? Who's going to be here next week, Batty? <laughs> Who cares? Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah, next week we have Megami. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I yes, was trying yes, to, yes, yes, I yes. was trying to, there's just, so, there's so many flyers circulating. Yeah, so, yeah, right. no, there really is. Yeah. But really quick, I want to remind everyone that at 10.30 p.m., we we'll all take the stage for Friday Night Lights together oh, with shit. a bunch of resident divas here at Roscoe's. Now, uh, really, really quick, uh, Mirage, this is for, I, I have to, I feel inclined to tell you this. As a person that went home first, I know exactly what it is that you felt, and this does not define you or your drag. You are going to do amazing things. I am super excited to see your future, and don't you dare let this be anything for you. Give me a hand. Okay, oh, now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. With that said, who's ready to party? <laughs> gorgeous, please make some noise for our two gorgeous guests from season 16. Give it up for a mandatory meeting. And keep that going for Mirage Love! Put your hands together for Caramel DeVille! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please keep it going for one of our co-hosts, Batty Davis. And keep that going for our beautiful diva, the most beautiful one up here. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Nisha <laughs> Lopez! Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Be generous to your bartenders. They're working oh so hard for you guys. We're going to see you at 1030. YouTube, thank you so much. YouTube. If you have not uh, registered for the VIP or subscribe, I don't know why I said registered. Like, I'm at the fucking hospital. Pay $1.99 and you can see this shit on Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. But all right, bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.